We have talked about my favorite roller coasters on my channel, but today we need to discuss the dark side of roller coasters. You are not the fun ones, but the most terrifying, dangerous roller coasters that will give you nightmares. Number 10 is Flight of Fear at King's Dominion. This coaster is really dangerous because it not only launches you, but you can't see where you're going because it's just so dark. And it throws you off the train. No joke. When it arrives, the cart is empty. Wait. That's number 10? I don't want to do this anymore. Why did we agree to this? Number 9 is the Wick Twister Dangling Coaster at Cedar Park. Not only are you sitting in a chair with your legs dangling, you ride like that up 200 foot spikes five times. This is right only for the bravest of the bravest. Number eight is for Fire 2 Electric Boogaloo at Waldemir Park, Pennsylvania. This is a wooded coaster, being it's already dangerous enough, but it also goes above a street. If you fell out of the train, you'll be ran over by the cars. What was the park thinking? Let's be glad wooden coasters aren't being made anymore. Number seven is the Vortex at Gings. This roller coaster is basically closed to banned forever, so who knows what was happening over there. There's most likely a lawsuit that evaluated in death, so if you rode Vortex, I can only feel very sorry for you. Number six is the Timbers Coaster. This may seem like a cute, smooth, and not very intense coaster, but do not be fooled. It's always trying to throw you out of your seat. Also goes upside down, but it has only a lap bar. And didn't I mention it's a wooden coaster? How did this get past the peer review stage? The world may never know. Number five is Batman the Ride at Six Flag Atlanta. A teenager was hit by the roller coaster train and was instantly killed and decapitated. That is just revolting. Number four is Fury 325 at Carol Wines, North California. This is the tallest and fastest giga coaster. Need I say more? Number three is King to Call at Six Flags Adventure Park. As is, it's literally designed to be one of the world's most dangerous roller coasters. I wish I was done there, but no. I rode this monstrous stroller coaster on Labor Day, and just 10 minutes later, I got a muscle pain in my leg and I'm really hurt, and there's the gifted guards need to help me leave the park. Coincidence? Number two is the El Toro at Six Dogs Cape Venture. This is the tallest, steepest, and fourth longest roller coaster in the world, and was the first roller coaster to use a gable lift. Which is already scary enough, but its giant towering hills force you out of your possibly more than twin bird twippers. This thing should be illegal. Before we get to number one, here's some honorable mentions. Fight of Fear at Hershey Park because of its launch walls, corkscrews, and coaster loops. Millennium Force at Cheddar Point. It's the first roller coaster to use a cable lift and rises up at 300 feet to the 10 foot height. Tower Forward 2 because of its height and large towering inversions. Wicked Cyclone at China's Everland. Goliath at Six Flags. Anaconda because you could be eaten by snakes. 34 stories at Florida's King's Domination. Your mom. The coaster is really bad breath. What? Renace and the roller coaster. The Big Spaghetti, United Airlines, Flavin' and Bitch Transport 1, and contributions to our PS stations for viewers like you. Thank you. Alright, guys, no more jokes. We are now ready for the most terrifying roller coaster I have ever ridden. And this one by a landslide. You put this at number one without even thinking. Are you ready? This is your last chance to turn back. I will reveal the roller coaster in 10, 9, 4, 2, 1. Gatekeeper! Look! Just, just look at the tree on the side of the car. Just ah! This is illegal. You know. Happy April Fools, by the way. <laughs>don't take anything in this video seriously. And GP2 enthusiast, if you're watching this right now, I am so sorry. Don't be funny. A teenager that was hit by the roller coaster train was instantly killed to decapitate. <laughs> Number four is the Fury Theon 25 at Carol White's <laughs> which is already scary. But its giant towering hills force you out of your seat, possibly more than twin bird clippers. I need to say that more epically. <laughs> the Gatlinburg Mountain Coaster, because it trusts the rider to control the speed. How is that safe? 